Hi everybody, my name is Matt Elliott and I'm here at Garrity RV Supercenters in Junction City, Oregon today to show you a great new trailer. This is a Jayco. I really like Jaycos a lot. I've been selling them for years. This is the 242 J Flight. It's a 242 BHSW, which means it's going to have some bunk beds, it's going to have some slides, and it's a J Flight, which means it's a very good trailer. It's been around for years. I'm going to show you everything inside first as we go. Follow me. One nice thing about Jayco's, they are having a 50th anniversary. They've been around a long time, so they're well established. This product's got a real legacy, and they're not going anywhere. I really like them. It's always a bummer when you buy something, some name brand you just heard of, and two years later they're out of business. You're never going to have that with the Jayco. So where we're looking at here, this is a bunkhouse trailer, and it's got a lot going for it. Without being too long, it's got double bunks, so it'll sleep four kids back there. And I checked on the rating on these bunks, they're about 600 pounds. So you don't have to worry about overloading them. They're going to hold your people. They'll even hold some adults. Uh, anyway, so you have the two big bunks. You've got a horseshoe dining area with a slide, and you've got a queen walk-around bed, which is up forward. We'll take a look at that in a minute. The nice thing about this setup here, this horseshoe dinette area, is it gives us a, a versatile seating area, but it also makes a bed, and it's all storage underneath. So I can do this a lot of different ways and make use of this space. The other thing that's kind of cool people don't think about, I can take this table and these legs out, and I can just have that be open seating. I don't really need a dinette all the time, I might just need it at dinner time. So if I want I can open up this space, make the trailer feel even bigger and more sociable. So back here we've got the big double bunk. And I just want to point out that they have the new kind of coating on these mattresses. They're made with teddy bear hair. There's a bunch of cold teddy bears out there now. <laughs> Over here we got a really nice bathroom. Now it might be interesting to point out that this has a step-in shower instead of a bathtub. And the reason for that is most people really don't take a bath in a trailer. There's only six gallons of hot water. And so the shower makes a lot more sense and it makes it easier for everybody to use. So we have a medicine cabinet and this even has a porcelain toilet. So that makes it easy to clean. That's the nice thing about a porcelain toilet. Now inside here, we see that we have a very large, this is an eight cubic foot fridge, and I like this fridge a lot because it's a, uh, it's a type called a Norcold that has a deep basin up here. And the basin's great because what it does is it keeps things from coming out at you when you open the door after your trailer's been shuffling down the road. In fact, you can thaw out five pounds of crushed ice in here and it won't come out from you, and don't ask me how I know that. Now, over here, we've got a great big pantry space. This can be used a lot of ways, really. You can certainly put food in it. You can add shelving or you could add hanging storage. You can do whatever you like. Kitchen's great. Got nice overhead storage here. You've got a large sink. You've got a large countertop. And this is kind of a nice countertop because it's a solid surface countertop. And they're a lot cleaner. They don't warp or come apart the way the old Formica ones did. They don't have any tea molding that wants to get out. So when I spill a little food stuff in here, there's no place for it to go and I can really clean it up. Up here we've got nice solid plywood drawers that come all the way out. Now if you turn around, you can see that this is where the home theater system would be. This particular one was ordered without a TV, but it's not a problem if you want a TV. We can install one for you here. And also this has a home theater system all ready to go. There's some storage under there, place to put your extra device if you have a game player or a little satellite receiver or something. So you have things you can do with all these spaces. Then up front, you've got a really nice bed. And one of the things that's kind of a universal truth in the world of RVs is they put bad mattresses in because they don't know what anybody's going to like and they don't want to spend too much money on them. Somehow or another, Jayco's found a way to put a much improved mattress in here. It's a nice space. You'll also notice that because this is a normal profile trailer, it's not, it's not curved down low in the front, that I actually have a lot of headroom and access in my bedroom area here. It's very, very comfortable. People like that. Also, it's got two nightstands with 110 outlets on each side. So you, could, you don't have to change sleeping spaces the way you, everybody comes into a trailer and go, well, you have to sleep on that side, I have to sleep on this side. You can do whatever you want. You've got the same resources on both sides. I use a CPAP machine, so I need that, that 110 outlet. 
Now the other thing I want you to notice here is we have beautiful flooring and we have ducted system for heat. You see these ducts down here in the floor. That's nice because it heats your underbelly and it helps make the trailer better in cold weather and it works better. It's a lot quieter. So this is a great way to have your furnace. Let's pop outside and we'll show you some stuff there. Now they put a lot of stuff on this trailer. One of the things I mentioned, this is a J-Flight, but it also has two special packages. It has the Rocky Mountain Edition. With the Rocky Mountain Edition, I get heavier duty stuff and I get especially bigger water tank. This has about 88 gallons of fresh water. Most travel trailers that you're seeing today have 30, maybe 40 gallons, some even less, but this one has a lot of extra water capacity. So those people that like to boondock and get away from the grid, they're going to like this one because of all that extra water. Also, we've got real rugged exteriors. This has a diamond plate siding all around the skirts, and you see these great big tires here. That's part of the Baja package. They have good looking Mojok wheels, and they have the bigger tires and the greater ground clearance. So if you're going out into rough country, this is a great trailer for that. Plus it looks cool behind your truck no matter what. Put a grab handle on here so it's easy to get in and out. Get that out of your way when you're not using it. Back here, we've got an outside kitchen and I want to mention this. This is really neat. It's got a two burner stove. Now most of the outside kitchens that you look at today don't have any kind of burners on the outside other than just what you connect the barbecue. But I've got a way to cook something out here and I've got hot and cold running water. I've got a fridge, so that's a lot better fridge uh, outside kitchen than most. It does have a power awning, I don't want to forget that. And they actually designed this one so the speakers are in the awning and that means less holes in the body. I like this a lot too. This has a ladder. A lot of trailers, they don't have a ladder. They don't want you on the roof. Some of them don't have that strong a roof. This one has a fully walkable roof, 3 8 exterior grade tongue and groove plywood. It's called a Magnum Truss Roof and it's patented. Look it up on their website at jco.com and you can learn all about the Magnum Truss Roof. That lets you get up there, inspect your seals and make sure that none of the weather, none of the seals are weathering. Get debris off your slide out so you don't have things getting in the way when you're trying to bring it in. It's a great idea to have a walkable roof. Okay, let's walk around over here and we've got an outside shower. You could see again, even better, this great ground clearance right here. Your plumbing is way up off the ground, so you don't have to worry about it getting snagged up. This has a really nice old fashioned rack and pinion slide. It's super reliable. Um, there's a lot of new technologies and slide outs coming out, but this one is tried and true, quite proven. And the door's locked, I'm not going to fiddle with it, but there's a great big front storage area in here. You can put all the stuff you want across the front of this rig. Now, there's something I want to mention real quick before we're done. This is a sheet metal sided trailer. A lot of times people don't understand. They think that sheet metal trailers are old school or they're old fashioned or they're not as good. And fiberglass is nice. I mean, it's pretty and it's smooth and it has its merits. There's no question about it. This stuff does not weather. You don't have to worry about any gel coat coming off, you don't have to worry about it deteriorating in sunlight. This sheet metal will lay in the desert for 700 years and it'll be there when you go back. So I really like sheet metal exteriors because of their durability and their resilience to weather. People in extreme climates almost always prefer this kind of exterior. Good idea. It's got power tongue jack so it's easy to load up. And you can't see anything here because they're not in. But we provide you the batteries. We provide you all the hookup stuff for your campsite. There's a whole bunch of other services that we provide at Guarantee without any surcharges at all. So when you're shopping and comparing, make sure you're getting everything that you need and that you're getting your money's worth. That's what we give you here at Guarantee RV. Thanks for watching my video. I hope you really enjoyed it. And if you have any questions at all, I'd be more than happy to speak to you. My name's Matt Elliott. You can reach me at 541-954-8495. Thanks for your time. You have a great day.